Hey everybody, this is Mike, and I'm gonna show you the new feature in Generate Plus Premium. There's a beta version out that has the new lock elements. And if you're familiar with elements, the header, layout, and hook elements, this is gonna be a fourth one called the block element. And what it does is it's gonna allow you to build layouts with the block editor and then hook them into anywhere on your website. So you basically can build a custom footer, different sidebars for different categories, or uh, you could, a header, and basically think of anything, and you can hook it into um, your website. And then you can kind of, just like the other elements, narrow it down to whether you want it to show up on certain um, taxonomies or stuff like that. So I have this demo of, uh, it's one of the, block demos that I built. And I have a kind of a dummy blog post here. And what I'm gonna show you is I built a little author box that you see at the bottom of articles. And I wanna hook it in here so that every time I write an article, that little author box automatically just shows up right below the article. And it's gonna sit here above the comments, but below the article and the tags and categories. So it's super, easy. Um, I'm using generate blocks and a couple of the core blocks and I built a little author box already to save some time. So when you go into elements um, you'll see I have my other elements that are here and this one here just as referenced the blog post width. This is what keeps my article this, um, this 800 pixels wide and it's just easier to read I think when an article is a little more narrow than the full width. So anything I, any block element or block layout I hook in here is going to stay within this, um, this 800 pixel layout. So I will click add a new element. And then you'll see here there's a fourth one now called block. And I have it saved as a, um, a reusable block. So I'm just going to drop it in here. And what I'll do is I'll put the, um, the reusable block JSON file as a download. And that way, if you're using generate blocks, you can import it into your reusable block section and mess around with it. All right, so I'm gonna add it. So I'll go into my reusable blocks and it's right here, the author box template, and this is it. So I'm gonna convert it to blocks to sh show you really quick how it's built. So basically it's a, it's a container and then it has a generate blocks grid. And then obviously the two columns. The first container has the picture of him. And then this container has the headline, this lorem ipsum text, and then this button container, and then the four social media icons are these four buttons. Um, and it's set up so that when it hits mobile, this is gonna actually sit on top of it. So it works well responsibly. So it's just a simple background color. I rounded the corners on the container. Um, this little line is just a left, uh, a left border, a two pixel left border on this container. So real easy. All right, so say I just built this and I'm happy with it. So now when I go down, you'll notice this little section here is all the similar stuff you would see in Elements. It's gonna give you, um, you know, where you wanna hook it, the location based on um, basically the parameters of when it's going to appear. So as far as the, these are kind of the main hooks you can hook um, block lights elements into. This is basically your whole footer, your whole header, but I only want to hook it into that one little area. So I'm going to go into hook and then I'm going to narrow it down. And if you notice, these are all the different hooks in Generate Press. There's a ton of them. So you can really go through and, um, like I said, you could build lots of different custom sidebars. You could build um, like a little email signup form to uh, maybe above your post or your archive page. So I'm going to go to the content section and generate after content. This is going to be the one that's at the end of the blog post, but before the, um, the comments block. After main content would be like below the comments. So I'm gonna click that one there. And I want it to show up on every post that I write. So I'll put 
post and then all post. That's it. So basically it's going to hook this author box into all the posts after the end of the post, but above the comments. All right. So everything looks good. I'll click update and I'm going to go back to my post and click refresh. And there she is. All right. So basically, like I said, it, it's below the article. It's below the basically the categories and tags above the comments. This looks good, this space, but I don't like the way it's sitting. It's touching the tags. So let me, let me go back to this container and I'm just going to put some margin above it. And that's the beauty of doing this is you can go and, um, you know, when I hook this in here, this is kind of the master area now. So when you go back to this block element, any changes I make here are going to show everywhere. So I won't have to go and, you know, overwrite anything. I'm basically any, if I were to change the text, every time I save it, it's just going to basically um, edit it wherever it's hooked into. So this looks good. I've got some space here now. Um, I would personally probably tweak that a little more, give, even it with this space, but I'm a little uh, OCD like that. I won't waste your time. So yeah, that's how it works. And now every time I were to add a blog post, this little author box is going to show up right there. And um, real easy. So think about everything you could possibly do as far as headers, footers, sidebars. You know, this footer right here is built with your normal widgets. So I've got basically four widgets. Um, and I've got a little MailChimp form in the fourth widget. You could basically build this out as a block container and use all the features in, you know, generate blocks or whatever blocks you use. So I can give it a background photo. I can give it kind of a gradient overlay, um, make it opaque. And um, I could use all the features that, you know, that come with generate blocks and all that. So you can really build some custom footers now, some custom sidebars, headers, all types of stuff. So yeah, this is a great feature. And um, like I said, I'll put this available for download. And if you have any questions, ask below. And uh, like I mentioned, this is the latest beta version of Generate Press Premium. So you might not want to put it on like a client site, but it's definitely, I would say, stable enough where you can start um, using it on like personal sites or development sites. Um, so that's it. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.